Hey everyone, my name is Riley and this video is a complete Fireflies AI tutorial. Fireflies AI is an AI meeting assistant and in this video I will show you everything that you need to know about Fireflies including how to get this set up, how to add this to meetings, how to transcribe audio and everything else that you need to know when using Fireflies AI. To get started with Fireflies I will leave my affiliate link in the description of this video and if you sign up using that link you will be able to claim a 7 day free trial. So once we have that link opened up all we need to do is click right here on get started for free and then it's going to take us over to this area where we can choose if we want to create an account with Google or if we want to create an account with Microsoft. Now the reason that we can only go with Google or Microsoft and not just sign up with an email is because it's going to integrate with one of these calendars. So if the main calendar that you use is Google Calendar then you want to sign up with Google and make sure that you sign up with the same account that you want to use the calendar on. The same with Microsoft, if you use the Microsoft calendar, you want to sign up with Microsoft and once again make sure that you use the same account that you usually use for your Microsoft calendar. So we can choose which one we would like to sign up with and then in here we just go ahead and sign in with either our Google or Microsoft account depending on the one that you chose. Once we have signed in, we can then go ahead and click on continue right here. Very important, where it says right here at the top, select what Fireflies AI can access. We want to make sure that all of these are checked. So essentially anything that it asks to access, we want to check off. And this is going to make sure that Fireflies works correctly and has access to everything that it needs. So once we have all of this trusted, we can go ahead and click on continue. And then in here, Fireflies is now going to load in and we are going to be taken into our account. Once this loads in, we will then be taken over to this page right here where we need to review our meeting settings. And the very first thing at the top where it says enable unlimited free transcripts, we want to make sure that this is turned on. And then underneath right here, we can choose the meetings that Fireflies will join. So essentially the AI transcript that's going to come into your meetings, record everything and transcribe it for you. In here, we can choose which type of meetings it's going to join. So we can set this to only join meetings when we specifically invite it. So just to show you how this would look, if I open up Google Meet right here, just as an example, this works with Google Meet, Zoom, any video conferencing software you are looking for, but just in this example, I will be using Google Meet. So for this option right here, when you invite it, what this would look like is you are already in a meeting right here. And then we would go into the meeting, go to people, and add people and then all we would have to do is just add this email right here fred at fireflies.ai so with this option it's not going to join any of your meetings automatically and you would need to go in here and add this email right here and then fireflies is going to join then the second option is going to be only meetings that i own so this is going to be on your calendar, meetings that you specifically set up and invite somebody else to. When you do this with meetings that I own, then Fireflies AI will automatically join that meeting, but only meetings that you own, not meetings that you are invited to. And then the final option is the most inclusive. This essentially says any meeting that you join, so any meeting with any kind of link like this, whether you own it, whether you are invited, it doesn't matter if it has a web conferencing link, then Fireflies is going to join. So what most people will want to do is you will want to have this for all meetings so we can set this up right there and then we can choose send meeting recaps to. So when you have Fireflies in a meeting and the meeting ends, it's going to send you an email essentially recapping the entire call. So in here, it's going to ask, who do we want to send this to? Only me and participants from my Fireflies team that we can set up, so your internal team, or everybody on the invite. In here, I'm just going to go for everyone on the invite, but it's completely up to you which one you want to go with. From here, we can go ahead and click on continue. And on this next screen, this is where we can now invite any team members that you might want to have on Fireflies AI. So as an example, maybe you have a sales team and you want to keep track of all of their calls. You want their call breakdowns and things like this. This is where we can add those team members so that Fireflies will automatically join their calls and let you know how the calls went. All we have to do in here to add them is we need to add the email that they use for their video conferencing. So as an example, if your team are using Zoom, you want to take the Zoom email that they use, the email that they use for Zoom and put it into here. Same with Google Meets. If you are using Google Meets, 
find the email that they use for Google Meets and we put it in here. So in this example, I can add this email right here. We can select it and then you can add all of the team members that you would like to add. How this is going to look on their end is they will receive an email essentially saying, hey, you've been invited to your Fireflies team. They can then click through and create their account. So we can add all of these people right here. Let's go ahead and invite. And next we can actually sign up and claim this seven day free trial. So all we need to do is click on start free trial right here. We can choose if after the seven day free trial, do we want this to be billed monthly or annually? So we can select this right here, enter in the card details. And then once that is all set up, we just click right here on start free trial. Just like that, we are now inside of Fireflies. So we can click on next. You are already watching a tutorial, so we don't need to go through the tutorial right here. Uh, one important point is on this screen right here where it says, do you use Zoom? If you do use Zoom as opposed to Google Meets, then we want to go ahead and click on connect right here. And then you can go ahead and connect up your Zoom account. So you would just fill this in. Zoom would then be connected up. And then with this, once this is set up, then Fireflies will be able to automatically join your meetings because you've linked this with Zoom. But for now, I'm just going to leave this off and I'm just going to use Google Meets in this example. So right here, we are now fully signed up to Fireflies and this is going to be the homepage right here. So down here on the left hand side, we can see all of the different areas of Fireflies AI and we will take these each one by one. So if we start out with the home tab right here, this is the my feed section. So what this is going to do is any meetings that you join, it's going to show you the meeting title and then it's going to give you a super quick breakdown of the meeting. Then what you can do is if you want more detail, we just click on the title right here. And then this area is going to give us the much more in detail transcription. So that should make sense in the home tab. We just have a super quick meeting recap. And then if you want more information about this, well, we can click in and this is going to take us over to the main transcription area. And with all of this, this can look a little bit confusing, but we will touch on this later in the video. Going back to the home area though, we can also flick along to tasks right here. And this is not really tasks like you see in a lot of other apps. Essentially, all your tasks are, are your calls. So essentially what we can do is if we just click on new, it's going to ask us to either upload an existing video that we have recorded, schedule a new meeting, add to a live meeting. I don't know if this is a good thing to be called tasks, but it is. Uh, what we can also do is up here, uh, if you have any project management tools like Asana, Monday.com, Trello or ClickUp, then we can click on connect right here. And then all of your tasks will be taken over and scheduled into these project management tools. Going along to the next section, we also have AI apps and this is a very, very cool tool that I really haven't seen in a lot of the other AI meeting assistants. Essentially what we do in here is we can choose what type of meetings we usually have and set our preferences. And then it's going to recommend us different types of AI that we can add onto Fireflies and get some more features out of this. So as an example, we have the customer satisfaction scorecard. So this is going to be for like a customer service team or something like this, when they are on calls or when they are talking to people. At the end, in the summary, it's going to give you a scorecard of the overall conversation and how satisfied it thinks the customer is. So we can do this for anything. If we go for sales, for example, we can say that I am a sales consultant. We can then click along, we can say concise, and then it's going to give us the medic sales app. So when we go into the transcription area, this is going to tell us all of the different metrics. It's going to identify pain, decision criteria, and it's going to tell us this at the bottom in the summary section. So those are the three main tabs at the top. Over here on the left hand side, we can see the note taker right here. And this is just where we can change the settings at any time between when we want it to join, who we want to send the email recaps to. So we can set that right there. And then down here at the bottom, you will be able to see all of the upcoming meetings that you have on the calendar that is linked to Fireflies. Your team will have the exact same thing. So let's say we have a sales rep that we have set up under Fireflies. They of course have their own calendar linked to this. Well, this will be customized for them and they will be able to see their specific meetings that they have coming up. Finally, in this home section, what we can also do is add this to a live meeting. So just to show you how this would look, let's say that we are in a meeting, for example. And the reason that this would be useful is let's say that we have this set up right here to auto join. 
only on meetings that you own. But then in this example, somebody invites you to a meeting, you realize you do want Fireflies in there, but it hasn't joined automatically. Then what we can do is we can add this to a live meeting. So we just click on add to live meeting. And then all we have to do is I'll just go in here and we can call this test meeting. And then all we have to do is grab the Google Meet link or the Zoom link, whichever video conferencing software you are using. And we just paste it in here. And then of course we choose the language, click on start capturing, and it is going to take a few seconds, but Fireflies is then going to ask to join. So what I'm going to do is I'll just skip this because there's probably going to be about 10 seconds here of dead space. But then just like that, we can see somebody wants to join this call, Fireflies AI note taker. So all we have to do is admit them to the call and then it's going to join the call right here. Uh, so this is actually going to join as a person. You can see that they are in the meeting, but this is just going to be a blank screen right here. So that's how you can set that up right there and how you can add Fireflies to a live meeting. So that is the home section. We can then go down to meetings right here. And this is just going to show you an overview of all of the meetings that you have had. So you can see your own meetings. You can see all of the meetings for you and your team combined. And then you can see it shared with me. So this is any other users on Fireflies. If they share a call with you because they want you to review it, well, it's going to show up right here. What you will also notice in the meetings area is we can schedule meetings. We can add to a live meeting. We don't need to cover these, but you can also upload a pre-recorded meeting. Let's say that you record your Zoom calls. Well, we can upload past meetings and we can get Fireflies to transcribe this, summarize this and everything else. So what I will do is because I don't have any meetings, I'm going to upload one of my YouTube videos. And then what we can do is actually go into the summarization area and I will show you what all of this screen means. So now this is loaded in, we can see in the meetings area, we have Apex versus Shockbite. So this is essentially a comparison of two Minecraft hosting providers. The reason that I tell you this is just so you understand what the summary means. So we can open this up right here. And this is the main transcription screen, the main summary screen for each one of the meetings that you transcribe. So over here, we can just see a text transcript of the entire meeting, or in this case, the entire video. So nothing super special right here. We just have the text. We can go to certain elements and I can click. So the first thing to take a look at when it comes to these, and as you can see, it's going to play the audio, show me the text and everything right there. Then in the middle right here, this is where we can see a summary of the meeting or in this case of the video. So we can see an overview. This is a product comparison focused on detailed analysis of Apex versus Shockbite hosting. So we can see down here, we have notes between the start and 36 seconds. This is an introduction and overview. We then have a pricing comparison. We can see all the pricing right here, customer service comparison, server hardware comparison. And then down here at the bottom, we have a conclusion. This is at the bottom section. If you remember earlier, when I spoke about over here, we can put these AI apps on. If I was to go, for example, and turn on this customer satisfaction scorecard, wouldn't really make sense for the video that I created, but you know what I mean. What we would then see is right here at the bottom, this is where it would show the customer satisfaction scorecard. Over here on the left-hand side, we have smart search. So this is for if we want to find anything in particular. For example, if I want to go to the pricing, I can highlight the pricing and then over here on the transcript, it's going to show every single time that I mention anything to do with pricing. We can then see the sentiments of the video. So 53% of the video was neutral and we can see that right here. If I want to dive into the negative aspects, I can go ahead and click on this and then we can see everything that was negative. We can also go ahead and if we have multiple speakers, we can choose between which speaker we want. You get the idea there. So those are the notes. We can also go over to the video and if we click on play, you can see it's going to highlight the piece of text that we are at. So we can see this whilst watching the video. What we can also do is over here on transcript, we can highlight these certain elements. And then right here, you can see we have a few different options. So the first is to add a comment. I can add a comment right here and comment on this particular part of the video. This is different to the comment section that we have over here on the left hand side. This is general comments. So I could go in here and just say this video is awesome. 
And then of course, me and the rest of my team will be able to see this. They can come in, they can reply, they can leave their own comments. But over here, I could like highlight a certain section and I could say in this specific section right here, I like this. And then it's going to say this for this specific section right here. Another thing that we can do is create a soundbite. Now, what a soundbite is, is I'll show you this menu, but you can essentially create playlists of specific soundbites. So as an example, I might go in here and let's say that I'm running a sales team, right? And I might want to have the close as as a specific playlist. So my team can go in and they can see the different closes that everybody on the team has done. So what I would do is in this example, let's say right here, this is the close. Well, I can highlight this. I can go create soundbite and this is just going to save and create a soundbite right here. So I could say Riley close one, we can title this. We can then add to a playlist so we can choose to add or create a playlist. Let's call this closes and then create and then we can choose who can access this and click on done. And just like that, this is now going to be added to the playlist, which I will show you in a second. So that is the main transcription area right there. Let's just go back to home. And the next thing that we will touch on is of course going to be the playlists. So if I go into the playlist area, I can see all of my playlists. I can create new playlists. I can click into playlists. And then in here, for some reason, this hasn't loaded in yet, but it will do in a second. But then all you would need to do is if you want to create a new playlist is we can add sound bites. We can choose the sound bite we just created and add this in right there. Perfect. So this is now added in. So that is the playlist section right there. You can create specific playlists that you would like. We then have contacts. Uh, this is essentially when you have meetings, you will have specific people that you meet with. So let's say that you have David. So David is maybe a client. Well, what this is going to do is this will add David's contact in here. You can click into David and then you can see all of your meetings with them. It's going to create an AI bio and a few different things it will do in here. We can then go to uploads. This is where you can upload pre-existing files or meetings that you have. And this is the main section of Firefly's AI. These are the main sections that you will be using. From here, we can then go down and these next sections is integrations. So these are all of the different apps that we can integrate with Fireflies. For example, Close is a CRM. We have project managers. And if you click into each of these, it will show you exactly what the tool will do. Transcript recordings and notes from your meetings will be seamlessly sent to Bamboo HR with this one. We can back out of this. Let's go to a project management. This is going to create tasks in ClickUp from AI assisted meetings. So you can see whichever tool you want to connect. We click in we can connect right here and then go ahead and connect this up. Then going down, we have apps. So this is the same menu that I showed you earlier, but just in more detail where we can go in and we can add these AI apps on for the customer service, for the sales assistant, anything that we want to add here. And these are all free. Like you can turn on as many as you like. This would be a little overwhelming, so I wouldn't recommend turning on too many, but you could turn them all on if you would like. Going down, we then have a topic tracker. So what this is going to do is this is going to help you search and highlight relevant parts of a meeting. So let's say in here that we want to go for, once again, let's go for the close of a call. So we can say that this is the close and what keywords would be said around the close. So this is going to be things like price. We can add in right there. Then price is going to be added in. We could add in like a dollar sign because of course this is going to be transcripted. So anytime we mention a price once again, we could go for let's move forward. And anytime that somebody says one of these things, it's going to basically clip that and save it to the topic of close right here. So we can then go in and click on add. And then down here, we can see we now have the close topic, all of the keywords that need to be said, and then we can turn this on for teammates so it tracks their calls as well. Then we have analytics over here, which is just going to show us all of the analytics. So total number of filler words, total number of questions asked, monologues, how long was spent in conversations. We just get a very nice overview right here. We can then see our team and all of the members that we have. This is where we can add team members at any time in this area. We can then go to upgrade. This is where you can choose the plan that you want to go for. And finally, we have settings. So in here, we can just go down. Honestly, you really don't need to play around with any of these. It might be worth coming into here right at the start when you first set this up and just changing any settings that you might want to set up. 
But overall, that is how you can use Firefly's AI. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.